Hey guys, General Gozer here, back with another review. This time I'm doing it on a custom build. If you've played StarCraft, you should know what this is. This is a Zerg Changeling. I love these guys so much. They're, they're awesome spy units. I actually got this little hunch in its back, kind of correct. I had to leave a little spacing in between here just because of the fact that it doesn't have a lot of stuff. The layer doesn't have a lot of stuff I can do really good with it, and its head is kind of big, but lots of things that you can do with this. Let me show you one of the biggest things that you can do with it. I don't know if I mentioned this in my other video. Sorry about that. As I just focus my camera off of it. You can bring its body upwards. Bring it upwards again. I bring it upwards yet again. So you can get it to be pretty tall. And just comparing it to a minifigure that I just had randomly laying next to the board I'm reviewing this on. You can see that its size is pretty large. This uses over 200 pieces. Over 100 just down here. And I use a lot of small pieces to do it. And let me just go over the color scheme. Brown and the purple down here. Used for most of its base. Little purple color down here. Most of this is actually held together by using two little beams. These two little beams. Hold on a sec. Alright, I'm back, so I just had to put it down to the ground. Purple piece back here representing one of the bubble things. Purple pieces on the side here, that's actually supposed to be a black piece down there, but it fell off. And, um, well, it was originally a red piece, but I took it off because it burned. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Its arms aren't quite accurate either, just like its head isn't, because I had used, um... Brick built for up here, and then Ben 10 style arms down here. And for up here, I just built a thin plating. This is actually the Ninjoid symbol from Ninjago, but I reused it for the Zerg symbol just to give it like a little bit of armor. And the, it's... Ah, there we go. That's a pretty good angle. You can see most of the pieces that I used here for it. And just showing you the face... You know it's not completely accurate. I gave it its little fangs, except I put them in gold because I couldn't find my silver ones or my gunmetal gray ones. So, they're in gold. And this is just its walking pose because they don't particularly walk. For those of you that don't know what StarCraft is, they drag themselves. So, it winds up having its arm like that and its other arm like that kind of dragging itself. I know that the, finger, that the hands aren't accurate either, but I can't find any pieces that would actually let it walk properly or look like it's walking properly without having to swap out pieces and break them over time let me show you something else you can do with it you can bring these out and that just reveals what I did on the inside here which is pretty good a lot of this is just purple down at the very base of it right down here then it gets to the black once it comes up here and this is just what it looks like from back here. You can actually kind of get it to pinch onto a Lego person's leg like this. Kind of, as it just wants to... There we go. Kind of get them like that. Kind of stab it into the back of their leg. Just have them dangling. But I used red pieces for its eyes. Transparent red, but it's hard to see here. And then I used black below it. You can angle these things out. Turn its head on a ball joint. So you can twist this around. You can move the things independently, but this one's broken. So I need to replace that at some point. And this is just... My custom made StarCraft review though, my inspiration for this was the fact that I didn't find any of them online. I was looking up pictures of these before 
in LEGO, but nothing showed up. It showed up with Ultralisk, Brutalisk, Hydralisk, um, Zerglings, even the Protoss, for crying out loud. I mean, I mean there was also was a few other things, like the Halo Spartans and all that, but... Just showing you how big its hunch is in its back that it winds up having. And I actually did get its ribcage design. Let me... Eh, I, I can't move it because then I'll ruin its position. I won't review this guy because I don't have his vehicle anymore. So I just throw him out of the way and this is my review. Alright guys, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And see you guys when I see you next time.